What's going on troops? Today I will be showing you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3 device. It's uh, been uh, almost, I don't know, half a year, a little bit more since I bought this device and it's time that I root it. Um, and there's a number of reasons why you want to root it. Um, mine may be different than yours. Um, you know, you want to dig a little bit deeper into your device. You want to find out what it can really do. Uh, this is when uh, it's a good time to root. All right. So uh, to start, <clears throat> you will need um, your uh, USB um, cable. You will also need two files, um, which I'll post the link down below from the XDA forum. Uh, one of them will be Odin 3, the other one will be the actual root file. So that file is about 500 uh, plus megabytes. Um, so, uh, you know, it took me about 10 15 minutes to download, so it's not too bad. And uh, you can do it for uh, all different uh, types of um, carriers. Uh, we will be showing you the Rogers. Uh, version of this. So, um, as you can see, I am on Rogers, and down here in the basement, I get crappy cell service, but uh, nevertheless, it will work. All right. Um, so, uh, I have already installed Odin 3, it's just an exe file. I have downloaded my 500 meg file unzipped it. Uh, yes, you will need to know how to unzip. Uh, I'm sure everybody does by now. If not, uh, Google it. Uh, you will also need um, drivers for your device so that when you plug it into your computer, you are, um, uh, when you're plugging it in, your computer will recognize your device and thus will be able, Odin will be able to upload um, the file. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is turn off your device, hold down the power button, power off, yes please. Alright, All right, so the second thing you want to do is um, put this guy into downloading mode. So for the GS3, you want to hold down the down key the uh, home button and the power button. Um, I'm not sure if I could do this all in one hand, so this might, camera might go funny. All right, I am back. I couldn't do that without pausing it, so. Anyway, you, uh, after about three or four seconds of holding down the volume, uh, volume down, home button and power, you will get this screen uh, telling you that if you want to uh, download a custom OS, press the volume up. So we will just do just that. Okay. And uh, there we go. Right now, I hope this zooms in. Maybe not. That doesn't matter. All right. It all basically up here kind of tells you. I bet you this is how the um, store checks to see if you have uh, rooted your device or not. But up here it tells me the model. Um, do I have a custom ROM? It says no. Do I have the current binary, or the current binary code is from Samsung official, and the system status is official. So they'll probably give me a thumbs up and replace my phone. Um, so if you do uh, uh, put a custom ROM on it, they this might tell you otherwise, and your warranty might be voided. So. Uh, I bought my device right out. I don't really care about warranty right now. So, plus I want to do all the other cool things. So I don't care. All right. Um, now plug in your USB. Okay. And as soon as you plug in your USB, nothing really happens here. But on your computer, <coughs> you have the uh, ID com here uh, you will get a light here connected to a com so that means your device is now connected into a com port on your computer uh, that means you have uh, connected and your drivers are working if not uh, download your drivers re-download them 
Uh, sometimes installing keys will work. Um, reboot or uh, reboot or at least reboot the computer. You could also uh, tr uh, close this program, open it back up, and uh, it might come on for you. All right. Uh, you really don't want to touch any of these settings. Everything's uh, the way exactly you want it. Auto reboot and F reset time. That's all the thing we want to touch. Then you want to go to the PDA <coughs> and search for your uh, file you downloaded. So, um, looks like when I unzipped it, it's more of a gig here. Uh, yeah, it's one point, almost 1.5 uh, or 1.04. Four. Not a problem. Uh, make sure you have that, I guess, in your uh, that much storage in your device. So it starts with root 66. Make sure you find the right guy. Ends with uh, .md5. Double click on it and hit the start button. It's telling us uh, not to unplug the device. It's checking the file. Final file has been analyzing, and now it looks like it's unzipping it. <coughs> All right. So I'm probably going to pause it at this stage because this takes about uh, five to ten minutes, depending on. Uh, on your computer speed and your phone speed and all of that kind of good stuff so I will be pausing it right now and as soon as anything changes here uh, just to let you see here this is still the same nothing's changed here okay so as soon as something changes I will let you know right now it is uh, 116 I'll let you know how long this took all right, we are back. It just finished two seconds ago. That took it exactly five minutes. <clears throat> this thing's rebooting by itself. As you will see, reset. Now she will be booting. I could at this point on hook my USB cable. All right, so now, my friends, we should be rooted. And we are looking for this guy here, Super SU. That means you are rooted. Congratulations. <clears throat> and enjoy your new phone. Alright, um, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you uh, like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I will very much appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, and check out my other videos as well on the Galaxy S3 if that's what you like. There's other videos there as well. Um, please note that this is an instructional video. I will not be responsible for any damaged phones. Um, even though you saw everything went smooth, uh, if something happens to your phone, I am not responsible. All right, and um, I uh, again want to thank you for uh, watching this video, and I think um, this is it for my time, and I do thank you for yours. We'll catch you on the next trip. Bye.